Hello and welcome back to The Stronghold. You know, growing up back in the day, I remember one of my favorite cartoon shows that came on television was a little gem called Voltron. Uh, and if you're not familiar, it was uh, one of these concepts where uh, multiple pieces, multiple robots uh, came together and formed this one super duper robot uh, that always seemed to save the day. And in fact, it was so popular that uh, Transformers even kind of ripped this off with the idea of their uh, combiner Transformers uh, that had a third uh, uh, cumulative form. Uh, anyway, just a really cool thing, and it's an idea that we are going to explore today in the Planeswalker Stronghold and uh, build a, a Voltron of our own. But before we do that, did you know that the majority of YouTube viewers do not subscribe to channels, even those that they watch the most? So allow me to extend this invitation to all my viewers out there to subscribe to the channel for all of your budget, free to play, and new player experience content so you won't miss out on a thing. Now because we are a budget channel, we are going to use none other than the common ginger brute as the basis of our Voltron concoction. Uh, this guy packs a lot of punch for a 1-1 colorless. Uh, only costs one mana so it can come out on turn one and it comes out swinging uh, thanks to the haste attribute. Um, for an additional cost of one each turn you can make it essentially unblockable although it can still be blocked by other creatures with haste. Uh, make sure to remember that subtle difference because it might become important in some matchups. Uh, and of course, because our buddy here is made of gingerbread, he is a walking, talking food token. So you do have the option to sacrifice it for uh, some life gain if need be. Although uh, that will really probably never be part of our game plan in this deck. What will be part of our game plan, however, is Voltroning this little guy up with a ton of high value enchantments and equipments. Uh, for instance, uh, Sentinel's Eyes, Solid Footing, and All That Glitters uh, really punch this guy up very, very quickly. Uh, you can easily end up with something like a 7-7 or an 8-8, and remember that is virtually unblockable. Um, each of these gives a small boost, and All That Glitters just really catapults that. Uh, by giving a plus one plus one for every enchantment and artifact and don't forget our boy is an artifact to start with so just playing all that glitters on there is going to make him a 3-3 three, three. Uh, just a tremendous amount of punch on there um, and there's even more things that you can do these are just the the three mainstays a solid example of one of those other things you can do is our shadow sphere um, I know everyone got a copy of this in their new player experience and really this is in a tight running for the one card that Wizards gave us that can go in every deck. As a one drop uh, legendary artifact equipment, uh, it literally can go in any color deck. Uh, its low casting cost makes it very accessible and of course the benefits are not bad at all. Being able to give a creature plus one plus one trample and lifelink is really a ridiculously good thing to begin with, uh, but also for a small mana investment, you can also remove hexproof and indestructible. Um, and because of the way that activation is set up, that can be done at instant speed. So if they block with something and they think they're going to be safe and save their creature, you can remove uh, its protections very quickly. Um, just uh, turns the table so dramatically. Now, my boy Voltron, uh, he was able to benefit from a little thing we call plot armor. Uh, because it was essentially the main character, it could never have anything really long-term bad happen to it. 
Our boy Ginger Brute does not have that advantage. Uh, and in fact, anyone who's played for a little while knows that anytime you stack an aura onto something, you have opened up the door to be two for one, meaning they will destroy two of your cards for just one of theirs. Uh, so we need to provide some protection. Uh, the uh, two cards that you see here, the Life's Bounty and the Selfless Savior, both have the ability to save our creature, both uh, reactionary or proactively, to uh, give it a little help where it needs it and get it into the end zone to do some damage as well as the next turn. Now, when you add all that together, you end up with a deck list something like this. Uh, it is primarily made up of cards that you received as part of your new player experience using enchantment like, or excuse me, uh, removal in the form of enchantments as well as some uh, enchantment loving spells and a few additional enchantments that go further into pumping our creature. Uh, as I said, most of this deck comes together from your new player experience collection. Although there are a few things here you will need to draft up, but most of them are commons and uncommons. Uh, so you really shouldn't have too much problem coming together with those, especially at this point in the year. Uh, many of these cards actually come together from the Throne of Eldrin set, uh, which at the time that this video will be released should be the quick draft of choice. Uh, so it's really just a matter of making some quick work here and picking up some cards. You should not be able to, or you should not have to use any wild cards to put this deck together. And it is something that will get some spectacularly good wins. And you will have that joy of building your own Voltron creature around Ginger Brute and piling on enchantments to uh, really pump him up and make him a serious threat as well as have the tools to help protect him in order to win the game in the long run. And with all that having been said, let me take this opportunity to invite you to like, comment, and subscribe as the budget way to support this channel so we can get out there and build our community even larger. Do it for Graham. Do it for the algorithm. Do it for the iced coffee. And until next time, I'll see you in the arena.